Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna to talk about why have children been so sick this summer and what can you parents do to help decrease the amount of illness and improve their immune system. Hey, my name is Dr. Anna Maria Temple and I'm your holistic pediatrician on call. And today we're talking about a phenomenon that I have not seen in my 25 years of medical practice and that is kids being so sick in the summer. Usually this time of the year, we're done with flu, we're done with belly issues like the stomach virus and seasonal allergies, and then we're smooth sailing into sunshine, pool, and happiness. And this year, we are pummeled by fever, sore throats, cough, congestion, vomiting, diarrhea, rashes, and so much more. And everyone is so concerned. So we're gonna delve a little bit deeper into that and I'm gonna talk about four ways that you can improve your child's immune system and decrease the rates of illness. Make sure you stay till the end of the video where I'm gonna give you some supplements that you should have on hand. But let's get back to the matter hand is why is everybody so sick? Well, you may have noticed that we've had a pandemic which led to quarantine, which led to a weakened immune system. So let's, how has that happened? Well, if we look at the hygiene hypothesis, Long ago, children were on farms and they were exposed to animals and viruses and germs and animal poop, and they did not have as much chronic disease and their infection rate were smaller. And then we moved into the cities, into homes and apartments with smaller yards, less animals, less germs, less viruses. We sanitize and sterilize everything. And then we saw the rise of chronic disease like asthma, eczema, allergies, recurrent ear infections, strep infections, and such. And then we had a pandemic, so then we were told to be in quarantine, so we put everybody in a bubble, further removing everyone from exposure to viruses, bugs, and other germs that are key and super important to keep our immune system strong and thriving. It's like wanting to have a strong body, so we'll do ab crunches, squats, and bicep curls in order to build powerful, strong muscles with great recovery time. Well, the immune system needs the same thing and it can't happen if we're in a bubble. The other thing that's happened is we've not been used to our children being sick. And when they get sick, we got put in a total panic that they're gonna end up in the hospital and die. And we're not long, we're not used to simple childhood illnesses like a cold or just a stomach thing. We're panicked from what has happened in the past year. So I'm here to tell you that the things that I'm seeing through the community is that I'm seeing just common childhood things like colds, congestion, and belly issues with a slight headache that really are mounting out to not much, but if your child is sick, super ill, or you're just concerned, please call your provider. This is not medical advice. This video is just entertainment and education purposes only. So let's decrease some of our anxiety. If your child has a fever, Make sure you watch this video where I talk about things of when you should worry, what about febrile seizures, what about brain damage, and six natural ways to reduce your child's fever. Now let's talk about the four things that you can start working on today to build a stronger immune system and decrease your child's recurrent illnesses. Make sure you stay till the end of the video where I talk about supplements that you should probably invest in. The first tip to help you reduce your child's recurrent illnesses and improve their immune system is by decreasing their sugar. I know you guys have heard me talk about this, but sugar decreases your child's immune system from working for up to five hours after eating it. And how much do you have to eat? A hundred grams. That is in one can of Coke. That is in a sports drink and a couple cookies. So not much. This time of the year we go to the pool and we're having so much fun and we think of fun foods and all these fun foods that we've designated are full of sugar which are detrimental to our child's immune system. If you need ideas on how to feed your child fun things at the pool that are gonna improve your immune system, check out my video here where I'm on the daytime show talking about the various healthier options that can keep your child happy and empower their immune system at the same time. The second thing that you can do to decrease your child's recurrent illnesses and improve their immune system is more fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables are mother's nature way solution, if you will, to a strong immune system. How do you get your child to eat more fruits and vegetables? Simple solution they can do right now. When they ask for a snack, 
you tell them that they have to eat or fruit or a vegetable before they can take part in the package snack. That way you're not saying no, you're saying of course you can, but I need you to fill your body with proper nutrition before we can have the privilege to eating a package snack. If they say no thanks, that means that they're not hungry. Stay strong in this, it works. I've been doing it for 12 years. It has amazing powers. You will have to deal with a lot of whining, carrying on and crying, but nobody cares because we do not have time for recurrent snot and congestion. We have time for fun in the summer, so let's eat more fruits and vegetables. With that, just one simple hack will make your life so much easier. Consistency is the name of the game. And don't give in to the little humans. You're bigger than they are. The third thing that you can do to help your children have less sickness and better stronger immune system is taking a look at dairy. Specifically in children that have recurrent snot, congestion, asthma, eczema, seasonal allergies, all that kind of phlegmy stuff on recurrent ear infections. You may say, oh, well, we don't need that much dairy. Great news. That means this is not gonna be a big problem. But I'll tell you, most of my parents think the same thing. And then they have to remove dairy, which means butter, sour cream, cheese, ice cream, cottage cheese, yogurt, and then everyone realizes just how much dairy is in their children's diet. Dairy is very inflammatory and causes a lot of snot and congestion. So let's remove the dairy. If you can decrease it by 50%, I always hesitate to say decrease because no one actually does that. Eliminate it for 30 days and it will give you an amazing view if this is one of the root issues in your child's immune system or not. A concern, of course, is calcium. Okay, there's so many other foods that have calcium besides dairy in your child's diet, and there's so many dairy alternatives. If you're like, my gosh, but how do I even start? Oh, fear not, I have this amazing video where I go to the grocery store and show you how to pick dairy and how to pick dairy alternatives that are gonna be good for your children because just because it's a dairy alternative doesn't mean it's full of good stuff, it's generally filled with sugar and more preservatives. So don't forget, check out the video, it's gonna make your life so much easier. And the last thing that you can do to improve your child's immune system and decrease their recurrent illnesses is invest in some key supplements. Now, here's the thing. You cannot out supplement a bad diet. You cannot out supplement sugar. You cannot out supplement lack of fruit and veggies. So having keeping that in mind, Let's talk about a couple of supplements. Vitamin D. Vitamin D is a key nutrient to help our immune system. And you may think, but it's summer, and we're outside all the time. I'm here to tell you that we have become an indoor society and most of us do not spend enough time outside even though when we think that we do. I know this because I do vitamin D levels in the majority of my patients in clinic, both the outdoor people, indoor people, and everybody is vitamin D deficient. So please take your vitamin D. Yes, it's during the summer. The next supplement is zinc. Zinc is imperative to so many parts of the immune system. And even though you might be eating oysters, meats, seeds, and nuts, which are very high in zinc, it doesn't necessarily mean that you get them in your body because they have to be in the soil. So if the farmers are not using proper farming techniques, rotating the crops and putting minerals into the soil, the food that you're getting, even though it's organic and fabulous, may be deficient in zinc. In fact, in my clinic on all the blood work that I do, I notice about a 75% zinc deficiency in my patients. Third supplement is gonna be omega-3 essential fatty acids. You can get them from fish, or you can get them from flaxseed oil, or you can get them from algae. Why do we need omega-3s? Because our American diet is very high in omega-6. Omega-6 is a very inflammatory food, so should you partake in going out to eat, where they likely use vegetable oils, or you go to any fast food joints, very high in omega-6, or you use meat that is conventionally grown, which where the cattle are just kind of sitting in their feces, that is gonna be meat that is high in omega-6, again, super inflammatory. So we wanna use foods and supplements that are gonna be high in omega-3s in order to help with the balance to decrease our inflammation because a virus coming into an inflamed body is gonna cause more trouble than a virus coming into a cool, chilled body. Probiotics is number four, but just remember this, that if you just take probiotics and you don't have vegetables in your diet, you just have expensive poop. 
So another reason to make sure that your children eat a fruit or vegetable before their snack is so the probiotics you spend a lot of money on are actually working and doing what they're supposed to. 60 to 80% of our immune system is in our gut and because for every one human cell, we're 10 bacteria cells and my adults because our adult, three pounds of our adult weight is actually bacteria weight from our gut. We need to treat those guys with gentle care. So if you take probiotics and you give them your body a lot of sugar, they're gonna leave back to expensive poop. You don't give them enough fruits and vegetables, expensive poop. If you're stressed out of your mind and you never go outside, expensive poop, you get what I'm saying. So that supplement has to be taken and cared for in a particular way to be effective so you don't throw money down the drain. And the last supplement that is a good investment is immunoglobulins. Those are basically extra immune building army men that go into your body that you take them orally and it can help boost your immune system so you can overcome this difficult season of re-entry into society so we can have less illness and more fun in the sun i hope this video was helpful and you got some good information if you're feeling stressed stuck you don't know how to feed the kids and how to get them to eat more fruits and vegetables the rule of five a parent's guide to raising healthy kids in this unhealthy world will give you simple step-by-step -step approaches to change Changing your family's eating and living lifestyle so you can have less sickness and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so I can bring you more videos to help you raise healthy children in this unhealthy world.